Hello, in this video we will look at Boolean modeling in Maya. So basically, Booleans in Maya allow you to take an object that you've created and subtract, add, or intersect the geometry of that object with another object. So um, basically, we can take an object and we can subtract it from another object. So we can kind of take a byte out of another object, or we can add two objects together. Or we can also intersect an object um, to just be left with the section in between two different objects. So to get started, I'm going to create two objects. So I'll just create two polygons. So firstly, I'll create a cube. And I'll just draw that, draw the base in the grid and set that up like that. And I'll also draw a cylinder here somewhere. And I'll pull that up too. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just grab the move tool and just move it so that it is sort of on top of this shape or sort of hanging off the side of the shape like that. Okay. So I'll just orbit around or we'll tumble around. And so now we've got two shapes here, one that is kind of uh, moving into another shape here. So basically there are three Boolean operations. There's a union operation, which will merge both objects together and will remove the geometry between the two objects. Okay, uh, so it's, just, it's basically just joining the two objects together. The um, second Boolean operation is difference, which will subtract the last selected object from the first selected object. Um, so basically it will use one object to take a byte out of another object. And the third Boolean operation is called intersection. And so basically with that, the geometry between the two objects will be kept and the rest will be removed. So firstly, we'll use the uh, union Boolean operation. Okay, so um, if you have the modeling uh, menu set selected, basically you can select two different shapes here. So we've got two different shapes here. So hold down the shift key and select both of them. So if I select this one, hold down shift and select the second shape. I can then go up to the mesh menu. So just up here, you can click on mesh and then booleans and I'll click on union. And now what that has done is join these two objects together and it's also removed um, the geometry between those two objects. So it's basically, uh, it's, it's just these two objects here joined together with nothing sort of in the middle there. Okay, I'll undo that. So I'll press Command Z to undo. All right. And this time I'm going to use difference. So I'm going to subtract one shape from another. So um, when we use the difference Boolean operation, it will basically subtract the last selected object from the first selected object. Okay, so if we want this cylinder to take a byte out of this um, cube, then or rectangular prism, then we can click on the rectangular prism or cube, and then hold down shift to select the cylinder. We can click on mesh, booleans, and difference. And now that cylinder has basically taken a um, chunk or a byte out of that rectangular prism. Okay, so that's difference. I'll press command Z to undo. And this time I'm going to do an intersection. So that is where you'll just be left with the um, geometry between the two objects and the rest will be removed. So it doesn't really matter what order I select these, but I'll select this shape here first and then the cylinder second, holding down the shift key. And I'll click on mesh, oops, mesh, booleans and intersection. Okay, and now we're just left with that section in between where the two shapes were joining. So when we did um, the first Boolean operation, which was union, this section here between the two objects was removed. Okay, but now doing the intersection, we've pretty much gotten rid of the two objects and kept the bit in the middle where they were joining together. And basically, um, so it's basically union, difference, and intersections. Union is merging two objects together. Difference is subtracting one from another. And intersection is... Um, keeping the geometry between two objects and removing the rest. All right, so that is basically how to use Boolean modeling in Maya. Thanks for watching.